Truly possible comes new gambling opportunity. Place your bets now. It's time to play Banzai. Hazel. She's 63 years old. Her husband passed away 20 years ago. She has four grandchildren, is going on a holiday to Malta in the summer, and believes in God. This is a thought. She's 68 years old, and she enjoys paragliding. She had a husband and a dog, but both tragically died. Maybe that important, I don't know. But the question is, who willing to risk it all in our ultimate test? Wheelchair Chicken Challenge! Both old ladies must drive their wheelchairs in a straight line. Collision course is inevitable unless one old lady pulls away. Who will chicken out fast? Will it be Hazel or Dot? Hazel or Dot? Hazel or Dot? Place your bits now! Come on, come on! Quick, quick! Bits, bits, bits! Betting ends! Time for all the ladies to battle. They crashed! Oh my, oh my! Are you okay? Did anyone chicken out? Let's look at the other camera. Look, old lady Hazel, she chicken out. Not by much, admittedly, but she chicken, so she lose. Congratulations to Dot and everyone who know her. Still lots of gambling opportunities to come. But now, an animal scientific experiment. Progress leads to knowledge. Knowledge leads to truth. The search for truth leads to... The small This chicken, he called Larry. Uh, you may say he look a little bit like a big gay chicken. Or whatever. That not important. Rules of animal experiment very simple. Take one chicken. In this case, Larry. Take bundles of helium floaty balloons and attach them to chicken until he flies straight up in the air. Chicken must go straight up. Hovering don't come. So, how many helium balloons you think the animal scientists need to tie to Larry the chicken before he take off? Will it be A, 30, B, 60, C, 90, or D, 120? To help with difficult decisions, we put Larry on scales to see how much he weighs. Oh, 400 grams. Same as small bag of flour or large bag of peanuts. So, what's it to be? Make bet now. Come on, come on. Bet, 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 bet. Okay, that's it. Letting end. Let the experiment begin. First, the scientists attach 30 balloons to Lally. Oh, here we go. No, we don't. If you said 30, you're wrong. Now we must try 60 balloons. Could be tasty. Tension mounting. Oh, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. That's not a count. More balloons, please. Okay, 90 balloons. Gent 
gently does it. Gently, gently. Yes. Now. Oh ho! Oh! <laughs> we have rally lift off. Yes. Ooh, good. Oh wow, that's good. Ooh ha ha! Let's have another look at that flying chicken. This time in slow motion. Goodbye, Larry. We salute your ultimate sacrifice at the altar of science. You brave little chicken. We never forget you. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> <laughs> The generous portion, gentlemen, gamble. Five gentlemen. One has been blessed with a genuine super large lady pleaser. The other four are not so lucky. Their aim is to deceive by stuffing socks down their underpants. So, can you tell whose monster-sized package is the real thing? Number one, perhaps. Impressive. What about the number two? Oh, very nice. Maybe it number three? No, probably not. Could it be number four? Oh, marvelous. Oh, perhaps it number five. What a smashing block. Okay, so which one the genuine generous portion gentleman? Place your bets now! Come on, now, now, now! What is it going to be? One, two, three, four, or five? Come on, come on, come on! Quick, 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 quick! Betting ends! You know if you put your money on number five, you wrong! He not naturally gifted in the trouser department. If you say number one, you wronger. He only got a little tiny fella. If you went for number two. Outstanding! Congratulations, cause he the man who big down under. Bansai, 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 Bansai! Man in ridiculous gold coat called Gary. Man in lilac coat called Bradley. Don't worry, not raining. They are preparing for battle on the... Wheel of Misfortune! On the Wheel of Misfortune are six spring-activated style umbrellas. Five of the brollies have had their springs deactivated, so only one will now spring open at the touch of a button. Mr. Gurry and Mr. Bradley must use great courage and... Take it in turns at shooting brolies into their face. If they pick a broke one, they okay. If not, they lose not only the game, but maybe a few teeth as well. <laughs> so who will emerge victorious? Golden Gary or Lilac Bradley? Place your bets now! First to choose is Mr. Bradley. Is he feeling lucky tonight? Oh, hey, no, no. He aims. Oh, he okay! Now it's time for Gary to pick. Oh, hey, no, no. Things getting interesting now. He shows no fear. Pull the trigger, Gary! Now he also lucky! Four brodies left. Only one will explode into face. Oh, hey, hold on. Will Bradley get it? No! No spring in that one either! Where are Brody with a spring? Hey, hold on. Okay, Gary's done now. He nervous. He closed his eyes. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> oh, let's see that again in slow motion. He got the mouth full of Brody. 
So, Bradley the winner. Congratulations, man called Bradley. Glory and honor, know your name, and would like to go for a drink with you sometime. Mr. Shake Hands Man. Mr. Shake Hands Man like to shake hands with celebrity people for a long time. How long you think he shake hands with famous lesbian lady Miss Anna from Big Brother for? Will it be between 0 and 30 seconds? 31 to 60 seconds? 61 to 90 seconds? 91 to 120 seconds? 121 to 150 seconds? Place your bets now. Come on, come on! Bet, 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 bet! Okay, that's it. Betting ends! Hello, Anna. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. May I have your spare time, please? Sorry? May I have your spare time, please? Yes, absolutely. Why, why do you come here for tonight? Uh, for queer company, yeah. For oh, yeah. Too. What do you think about the word queer? It's a great You're word. Saying. He calling her queer. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit rude. No. But uh, what do you think if someone yes. calling you queer yes. from other people? Um, it depends what way they're using it. You know, a few years ago it would have been, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, yeah. a bad word. But now. If you said under 30 seconds, you're wrong. But anyway, I have to say congratulations on your big brothers. Thank when you got in the Mr. Shake Hands Man, very good at the shaking hands, but not so good at the interview. So come on, shake that hand good and proper. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I didn't mind at all. I really supported it for you, all right? But it, yeah. Why, why, why? Oh, well, Craig was great. Craig was Oh, I know he has a wild yeah. yeah. What do you think about his beautiful body? What did he say then? He yeah. says something about Craig yeah. having a beautiful Craig, body. She don't care about him. She likes know? ladies, you um, stupid man. <laughs> Still, he now well over one minute. I think she's beginning to like it. No, 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 she's oh, not you well. Left behind. Yeah, sore tooth, so oh. he's at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Mr. Shake Hands Man, pause. Oh, Lady Anna's mouth is all over. Lovely, Keep it going. Keep hold it, hold it, okay? Mr. Shake Hands Man, hold it, hold it, yeah. So Don't let that go. Remember, she like it. Shake hands, very hard, quick, quick. Oh no, they're pushing him away. Stop the clock. 95 seconds. Congratulations, Mr. Shake Hands Man, on a good job. Well done. One time. <laughs> That's all from part one, but still plenty more gambling opportunities in part two, including the Naughty Lady Chat Line Challenge, the Great Supermarket Trolley Cakes Jump, and the Dishonorable Door Deception with Harold Bishop from Neighbors. One time! End of part one. <laughs> Lady Chatline Challenge! This Mr. Cheeky Chappy. He man of very few words, but many cheeky adventures. But what are you up to this week? Hello, my name's Angel. Tell me how you like it. Tight, hard, from behind. Oh, blimey! Mr. Cheeky Chappy get hold of naughty number and call up mystery lady to talk dirty to him. On my hands and knees, my arse right up in the air. Question is, which of these ladies is owner of the dirty lady voice Cheeky Chappy listening to? The Naughty Lady Chatline Challenge! Is it number one? Got to do as you're told, or I might just spank your bottom. Mm. Number two! Come on, it's as tight as a mouse's ear. Just slide your tongue around it. Oh, blimey! Maybe it's number three? I'd have you tied up with your arms above your head. Then I'd have you stripped naked. Uh, could it be number four? Oh, I'll treat you badly. I'll teach you to be my whore. What about number five? Dude? Come on, get your head down right between my legs. Oh, very nice. Oh, oh. So, who oh. you put your money on? Place your bets oh. now. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, God, I can feel you. No more time left. Betting ends. If you go for number five. You're wrong. She not a naughty lady. She a normal lady. If you say number three. She's not normal. She also is not the one. 
If you say number two. You hitting the nail on your head. Blimey, she even cheekier than Cheeky Chappy. Quick, what else he got? Bantai. The dishonorable door deception. Win, Harold Bishop from Neighbors. Mr. Harold is a superstar of daytime television. If you are a fan of daytime television, then why don't you go on to get a job? Are you afraid of hard work or something? Mr. Harold Bishop has nothing but contempt for these lazy, unemployed student housewife people and likes to torment them in the daytime by knocking on their door and running away. Question is, how long do you think owner of this house take to answer door after Mr. Harold has knocked and run? Do you think it will be A, 0 to 20 seconds, B, 21 to 40 seconds, or C, 41 to 60 seconds? Place your pit now! Come on, come on, quick, quick, bet, bet, bet! Betting ends! Now here we go, Mr. Harold Bishop. Here comes the knock the door. Yes, looking around. Hmm. Now, Harold knocking. Start the clock. Go 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 go. Run! Yeah yeah. Oh, no sign of order here. Oh, maybe no one in. Oh, somebody coming up. Yes 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 yes. Yes, open the door. Come on, open it, open it. Oh no, they gone away! Come on, what's it, what's it, what's it doing, eh? I wonder. Neighbors, everybody need good neighbors! But good neighbors only become good friends when you found the perfect blend. Oh, he's he coming again! Open the door? No, no, yet. What's, what's he doing? Oh, yes, open the door! Ah, stop the clock! 42 seconds! Marvelous! Oh, he's a student! There's a bugger! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Harold. May your name be forever associated with the mild torment of your fellow man. <laughs> I'm fine! The breast weight gamble. Nancy Lamb, very famous celebrity cook. She was on Channel 5. But how much does her left breast weigh? The breast weight gamble. Does it weigh the same as a parsnip, a mango, or this bunch of broccoli? Place your bits now! Betting the end. It's pulling, pulling on a string. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, still pulling. Hmm? How much? How much? Ah, 30.5 ounces. Mr. Cheeky Chappy say, Nancy Lamb's left breast weighs 30 and a half ounces. That's the same as this person <laughs> The Bandai Polling Booth Big Bet. This week, Mr. Peter Doctor Who Davison. Uh, Mr. Peter, once again, the Earth is under attack from the evil Daleks. They will only retreat if you promise to have bottom sex with one of the other doctors. So, for the safety of our planet, which one would you do it proper with? Would it be A, Mr. Tom Baker? He's the one with a very long scarf. Or B, Mr. John Pertwee. He's the one with a sonic screwdriver. Or C, Mr. Sylvester McCoy. He's the one who wasn't very good. So, which one he go for? Baker, Pertwee, or McCoy? Place your bits now! Come on, come on, come on! 
Quick, quick, quick! Bet, 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 bet! Betting will end. Okay, Mr. Peter made up his mind. Which Time Lord he choose to do it with? Aha! It's he! Sylvester McCoy? Can you believe it? Mr. Peter Davidson want to do Sylvester McCoy in the bottom. I never know he was like that. The Flying Supermarket Trolley Trial. Two men in supermarket car park. One man call himself Matt Jack. He like to live life in fast lane. He has no fear, but he does have a mate called Will. But he not important, because tonight, Mr. Matt must face his ultimate challenge. The great supermarket trolley cake jump! of supermarket trolley cake jumping very simple. Mr. Matt sits in trolley and is pushed at great speed toward ramp by other bloke. Beyond ramp lie ten double chocolate ghetto cakes. Each cake is 15 centimeters in diameter. They are spaced eight centimeters apart. Object of game is to jump over as many of them as possible. But remember, supermarket trolley must clear cake completely. Otherwise it don't count. Understand? Good. So, how many cakes you think he jumped? Will it be A, 2, B, 4, C, 6, D, 8, or E, 10? Place your bits now! Remember, if you don't speculate, you don't accumulate! Betting ends! And so, it is time. Good luck, Matt. Here he goes. Getting good speed. Oh, good jump! Good cake jump! He nearly cleared the lot. Oh, let's see that again in slow motion. Outstanding! If you bet Mr. Matt would clear eight cakes, then congratulations. Teach your children well that courage is a dish best served cold. <laughs> Next week on Banzai, the Erection Man Challenge. I'm looking for a sponsor for, to help sponsor my erection. No? Clown Drowning with real clowns. <laughs> and the Nice Lady Lesbian Soup Sucking Contest. Oh. Hey, so, until next time. Benze.